IDAPT is a fantastic new facility for doing rehabilitation research. IDAPT allows me to do my research in a way that I never would have been able to do before. Hi, Ms. Jones, how are you today? It allows us to simulate real life situations in the laboratory. IDAPT allows me to help people in a way that I never thought possible. Yeah, like I naturally wanted to grasp that right yeah, yeah. It's going to be a quantum leap forward in terms of the types of studies we can do. There you go. What's at stake is we're trying to get people to live healthier lives longer. One of the biggest problems, as everyone knows, is the aging boomer population. They want to remain independent. They want to have as much autonomy as they can possibly have, and they find that within a home environment. About one in three people over the age of 65 will fall at least once a year. They approximate 20 to 30 percent of older adults who do fall will break their hip. In many cases, it's ultimately fatal within six months. It's going to be a huge, incredible burden on our health care system unless we find better ways to keep people in their homes. Uh, rather than having to move into nursing homes or other institutions. We need to come up with new, robust, innovative ways of caring for them. And you know, this facility is allowing us to take that step forward to do that. Hi. Hi. Hi, Nev. Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming. Home Lab is uh, a modest income home. So I'll get you to just come over here. We describe it as a large living lab. Today we're going to try out our emergency response unit. So you can have a simple device that fixes to the ceiling like a smoke detector. The system will detect that a fall has been uh, detected. This is your automated health monitoring system. And then it would have a conversation with the person. Do you need help? Please say yes or no. And if you don't answer, then you've already given it permission to call for help. Would you like me to call an ambulance? If you do answer, it'll start talking to you. Would you like me to call your daughter, Anne? Please say yes or no. Yes. So essentially it allows us to develop the technology in the space where it will actually be used. Getting that head of the curve to determining what kinds of equipment, what kinds of adaptive devices, what kinds of technology can be used to support people to be living at home, I think is very important. One of the issues, especially with seniors, is people are afraid of going out in the winter time because they're afraid of slipping and falling in the snow. So we're coming up with better footwear. So I'm just going to harness you in and then you can turn around and I'll have you walk to the middle of the um, ice floor. Okay. Winter Lab is used to test any product in winter conditions. It's actually built by the same people who built NHL skating rinks. And we have a wind machine that blows at 30 kilometers an hour winds. It can go down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. Hey guys, are you ready? Okay, we're good from this end whenever you guys are ready. So we measure um, the biomechanics of how they're moving. And that allows us to look at how fast they're slipping. We use motion capture to look at body position. But we also have force plates to measure the ground reaction forces as they're walking. Guys, can we have the PTI turned on, please? We're developing better winter clothing um, and footwear so that people are able to get out and get out safely. And that will actually, in, in fact, um, reduce the burden on the healthcare system from a financial perspective. A lot of the falls are directly attributable to design and construction faults in stairs. The simulator in IDAPT will allow us to put a stairway on the simulator so we can uh, cause someone to lose their balance as they're going down a stair. Why don't you go up to the top and turn around? And we can do that safely because it has a very sophisticated harness system. There you go. Whoa. That's good, that's good. We need to know how to build stairs so you'll have the least chance of falling on them. 
There we go. That was a good one. My most recent work has actually been focusing primarily on arm reactions. What I mean by arm reactions is how people will rapidly grab something for support when they lose their balance. So we provided some evidence which have led to changes in the building codes, for example, handrail height specifications are several inches higher than were previously allowed. You've seen that Street Lab produces um, the experience of being in this part of Toronto. And we need to understand how we process different signals and so that we can come up with safer methods of teaching people to cope with more complex environments after they've had a stroke or a head injury. Hi, Ms. Jones, how are you today? Okay, okay. I have some pain medication here for you. Care Lab is because it's true that sometimes we're gonna to have to spend time in a hospital or a nursing home. And we don't want people to go in hospital and come out worse than they were when they went in. At least two of our major projects are in those areas. One is um, developing systems to make sure that people's hands are clean, that we don't have infections. Our dream is you walk into any Home Depot or Canadian Tire, buy this fall detection unit for your loved one or for yourself. We're now working with some of Canada's largest footwear companies. One of the most successful things that I've been involved in is developing a new type of footwear, an insole called Soul Sensor, which improves ability to balance. It counters the loss of pressure sensation from the sole of the foot, which is very common in older adults. It's just an exciting place to work. There's nothing like this in the world. I think the vision of the whole lab is very inspiring. There you go. It brings together researchers with the same interests, with interests in big questions. I'm proud of what's around here. I'm proud of the people here. I've got the most amazing students, the most amazing faculty. It's a very collaborative environment. Do you need help? I love that there's no limit to the imagination here. It's going to become the center of the rehabilitation engineering universe. Rehabilitation saves life.